the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 68, Deuteronomy 29 to 30. The law is the words of God's covenant that Moses declared pointed to every person, not only of 40 years ago and now, but also in the future to come. First point, God's laws, it is always new. For the minor generation, the laws were like daily bread for them for the past 40 years. As Moses summarized the laws for them, he said, Who are standing here with us today in the presence of the Lord our God are also with those who are not here today. This meant that the laws would always be a new and a fresh breather for the generations to come. Second point. God's law is always in our mouth. God, through Moses, said that the laws of the kingdom of priests were always near them, meaning that it was not something in the heavens or across the sea. God wanted to emphasize that the laws should be with them at all times. Later, God said the same thing to Joshua before entering Canaan. God also said this to St. Paul later in Romans. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is, the message concerning faith that we proclaim. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Third point, God's law is not difficult. God told the people through Moses that the laws were not difficult. The fundamental laws in the kingdom of priests were to love God and to love your neighbors. Jesus lived light, love the Lord your God, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Fourth point, God's laws tell of the new covenant. God gave the laws not so that people could get punished, but so that they can be blessed. The laws contain God's forgiveness and love. This is not to say that it does not contain God's punishment. But through and through, we see how pleased God becomes when people repent and return to Him. God does not seek pleasure in the death of the sinners, but rather waits for them to repent. Return when South Judah fell in the hands of Assyria, all this had been warned in Leviticus 900 years ago. If the people failed to obey God's laws, they would be punished. Fifth point, God's law is headed towards the lasting covenant. God's laws exceed the time and place. Therefore, God's laws are applicable to everyone. Jesus' light came to fulfill the laws. No one other than Jesus could do this. Therefore, this was all possible through Jesus. When St. Paul realized this, he proclaimed, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, nor any powers, neither height nor depths, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. 
This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.